Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm coming to you, as Ronnie would say, um, to do a little video here about Printful. If you're familiar with uh, Amazon Merch, um, it's something like that. It, it's print-on-demand for t-shirts, but they also do other products. Um, Amazon Merch has an advantage that, of course, Amazon's big empire and traffic and all that, but it also has some disadvantages. Um, you start off, you have to be approved first. Second, you start off, you can only do up to 25 designs. You can only have five colored shirts per design. So those are kind of some uh, downfalls, but Amazon is a huge platform. So I'm not saying don't use merch. I'm saying in addition to using merch, why not have your own platform doing t-shirts? And in this case, you can do some other items as well. What Printful does is they interface into either your WordPress and WooCommerce website, or you can have a Shopify site. Now, Shopify is going to cost you about $30 a month for that. Uh, a WordPress and WooCommerce site costs you about $10 or $15 a month, but you have to have some... Uh, brain power to put it all together. Um, what's great about it is on either of those two platforms you put up your products, your t-shirt designs, uh, what have you, and then when someone comes to your site and makes a purchase it automatically goes to Printful, they print your product and ship it and you don't have to do anything. It's easy, I won't say easy, easy money, but it's uh, kind of hands-free. It's kind of uh, once you put the designs up it's passive income. So what I'm going to show you here in a minute here is I'm going to show you the Printful site and uh, how to load up a design. My beer is going out of whack there, but um, it used to be a little bit cumbersome because I use uh, my own WordPress site with uh, WooCommerce and what I had to do is I had to create my design and then I went to the Printful site and they have a mock-up generator. So you can load up your design and then download mock-up images of each color t-shirt with your design on it and then you would load those up to your website create your product your prices and all your uh, variations sizes and colors and such and then you would sync it with Printful and soon after that they came out with a method that you didn't have to sync it until someone actually bought the design and then you'd sync that one design up and they do everything now they took the next step it's, and it's so much easier. Now you load up your design to Printful and you select your colors, select the sizes you want, and then select your price point. You know, it, it will tell you on the bottom what that shirt's going to cost you and then you select what you want to charge your buyer and of course you keep the, the balance. And then it, you, when you're done, you click a button and it pushes all your products to your website, whether it be Spotify or WooCommerce. And it's done in minutes. And then, but you still, what I still do is I go into my website then and fine tune the listing with some SEO, um, my keywording, all my images and such. But that only takes me another minute or two, copy and pasting all my keywords. So right now we're going to go ahead and take you to the website and show you. I might have to do this in two increments because my little screen share will only do 15 minutes at a time. So here we go. Let's look at Printful. Okay, here I am. I'm down here in this corner here. And real quick, I wanted to show you first the, the website here. Um, this is my website. And I'll show you the back end real quick. This is a WordPress site with WooCommerce. And we'll go to the products part of WooCommerce here. And so it basically loads up all your products for you now. Where you used to have to go to a product, do all your, uh, load up all your, excuse me why sneeze. You had to load up all your images yourself here. And then you had to go down into your uh, attributes and do your colors and sizes. And then all your variations and with pricing and when you have a lot of colors and a lot of sizes that's a lot of variation or seven pages 93 variations 
I used to have to do those all by hand and then sync it to Printful. But now, uh, I'll show you Printful real quick first and I'll show you the way to do it. But here's Printful. And yeah, they do all these items, uh, pillows, t-shirts, canvases. They do sublimation printing uh, posters. When they ship the product to your buyer, you can you upload your own little logo and they'll put a little logo sticker on the package. Um, I saw mine because I ordered some samples. And speaking of samples, you can order, uh, I think it's five samples every quarter and you get 25% off your samples and free shipping. So that's pretty cool. And when it comes to t-shirts here, look at all the different types of t-shirts you have. These are different brands, American Apparel, you have women's t-shirts, unisex, men's, tanks, kids, babies, and I think they even have pets. Yeah, doggy, baby, doggy baby rib tanks. Um, I haven't done those yet, but these are all the different types of t-shirts. Unfortunately, you can't do one product and have your buyer select either a tank top or a t-shirt whatever you have to do a product for each one of these if you wanted to do all those they even sweatshirts i've been doing the gildens a lot because uh that's the cheapest t-shirt and so i can have a lower price i think i've been doing the gildan 2000 ultra here but that's just the t-shirts they also have you know like you saw mugs posters canvases and such and you can have i'm going to go into my uh stores here. I have two stores. I have a baby onesie store and I have my tea store here. So you can have multiple stores. You can see I connect to them by WooCommerce, but you can do WooCommerce and Shopify. Plus there's some other platforms, but those are the easiest. And if you use ShipStation, you can also connect to Etsy and Amazon. I haven't tried that yet. But when I want to do a product, let's do um, add a product. I'm going to add a t-shirt and I'm going to do a woman's t-shirt and because that way I can use one of my existing um, items here and we're going to do this uh, fine jersey here. So here it is. I'm going to upload a file and if you, I have a lot of files already uploaded but if you didn't you just uh, would click upload here and find your file. And it gives you the parameters if you want to use a PNG. I do my designing in um, Illustrator. And so it will allow me to directly upload my Illustrator files. And I like that because Illustrator is a vector and can, you can do it any size. I don't think I have a women's shirt of this design yet. Um, let me look. I guess I don't. Let's do this one, my little Palpatine one. So you click your files and it's showing you a preview here. So you can adjust your file, center up. I'm gonna make, make it a little bit bigger, left and right. Excuse me, that's my phone and I'm gonna ignore it since there's no caller ID. Anyway, then we're gonna center it up. I wanna move it down just a little bit. Center back up. So there we go. And then you select your, uh, I'm not going to do white. I'm going to do a black shirt. To all of, I'm just going to select these different colors I want to do. And you see in the preview, it's adding, whoops, I can't believe It's adding down here, the different colors. Eggplant, that's a lovely color. And you can have up to a hundred variations. So I have one, two, three, four, five sizes here. So that means I can have 20 different colors as opposed to your 25 colors on uh, merch. I like the darker colors myself. But... Mm. Try to select all the colors you want now because I don't know of an easy way to sync your colors after you create a product. But there we go. I'm going to stop there. Oh, I like this gold color. Let's do gold too. So now we proceed to the next page and we give it a title. And I'm going to really quickly go to, because I hate typing things.
I'm going to go to my page for us so I can copy and paste the same title I used before. So bear with me one moment, and hopefully I'm not using too much of the time here. There we go. Oh, that wasn't, uh, I could have typed that. So we're going to copy and paste here. My dog's being a pain in the butt. I'm going to capitalize these letters real quick. Okay, and then down here it tells you the pricing of the products and how much profit you want. So I'm going to leave it right there. And then I am picking a category. It's, it's bringing the categories I have already in my store since it syncs together and then i click submit to store and then you can see the little green bar here it's waiting to be processed and i'm not going to sit here and make you watch it but uh, and it's uploading the products to my store it's going to take a couple minutes but that's basically it i now have that product in my web store um real quick if you can look down here in the left corner here is one of the samples i got um from them and i'll put a picture on my blog of the packaging to come from and this needs to be washed but it's a really good quality shirt um it generally takes them about um i say three to four days from the time the order is placed to when it's shipped uh except for around christmas time there was some delay around christmas time i had some shirts take uh, almost um uh, week and a half, two weeks. So plan accordingly. If you're going to sell on another platform, make sure you give yourself enough time to do it. Um, another other thing that when it's on your store, when somebody buys all the money, the full price, so you saw um, charging $21 for a small, it's all goes into your PayPal. And then once they accept the order, they're going to take their price out of your PayPal and then you keep the profit. And then four or five days, they will uh, ship the product to the customer. It's all done in your name. So the customer does not see Printful anywhere. The only thing that may allude to it is the address, is their address for return. And there it is. It's done. So now what I usually do is I will click Edit in Woo. So it's going to my website now opening up that product page and then I'll generally copy my title make sure my title here is correct I'll put it down in the product description and then I'll click here and then I'll go to each image and put that in my title and alt text for uh, SEO purposes and we'll just go beep 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 this might take a minute because like I said there's uh, quite a few different colors I don't have to do it per size, just on each image. So all my images have keywords. A few more here. So in reality, after I have my design, you can see it's taking up to three to five minutes to have my product complete. And why is it showing a white t-shirt? I thought I took the white t-shirt off. Oh, it's there. I'm going to add the keywords. I'll probably take it off later. So there, they all have those. Make sure see, my, it made my product, my main product image, white. I don't like white. I'm going to make it the gray one. Set product image. Normally, I wouldn't have to do that. If I didn't select white, it would have kept white there. It would have done my main image. Now I'm going to make sure it says adult. Now I might put some product tags. We're going to do women's. And T-shirt, Star Wars. These are just keywords in my product tags. Al Patine, comma Vader, comma Campaign, comma President. There. When I click Update, I'm done. Let's try it out. Four, maybe five minutes, if not. 
um, and I can go to view my product and what I'll usually do is I'll socially share my product now let's go put it up on Twitter why did I do the white t-shirt oh well um, I'm just gonna make a quick little change here go back to edit product hopefully I'm not getting close to my 15 minutes here if I have something disappear you know why but I'm gonna go down and set my variations default to not white. We're gonna set it to asphalt. And I'm actually gonna probably remove these whites. I don't white the whites. Anyway, I'll do that afterwards. If I didn't make the mistake, I wouldn't have had that there. You don't need to see this being done. Let's go back to update. Go back to the view product. But anyway, that's it. That's how fast it is. Um, like I said, I recommend Woo and WordPress because it's on your own hosting account. Um, don't go with a cheap $5 GoDaddy. Um, pay $10, $15 for a hosting account for a good one. It'd be worth it. You know, you upload WooCommerce. It's a free plugin. And it's cheaper than Spotify. Spotify does have, or Shopify. Shopify does have some benefits like your viable pins. Um, I just haven't got into paying three dollars a month for that yet. So that's it. Let's go back to Printful. Um, they have good things about them. reports. You can, I mean, I haven't. I sold some shirts here. I don't sell a lot here. I'm not going to say you're going to make a million dollars. It's just another avenue. And if you're doing merch and you're doing the designs anyway, it's a good thing just to throw it up there. And if you got your website, you can uh, add in the different products. I have. Uh, some baby onesies. I do the same designs on onesies. Um, I have a couple oops, mugs. And that's about all I've done so far. But I'm just throwing them up there. Eventually Google will index them and get it out there. And um, my traffic is building up. I'm getting 10 to 20 hits a day now. And like my vinyl sites, it took about six months for my vinyls to start taking off on their own from search traffic. I now get 100 to 200 hits a day on the vinyl site and I'm making a couple of sales a day there. So check it out. I'm going to post uh, my uh, my Printful affiliate link in the comments below and it, or if you see this in my blog I'll have my affiliate link there. I'd really appreciate it if you use my affiliate link if you're going to sign up. Um, I get a couple cents per order when you sign up and make a sale so check it out um that's it for now pretty sweet and simple so if you guys have any questions let me know i'll try to answer them best i can um uh, and i'll say printful has been very responsive with customer service um they've been updating their service a couple times a month they come out with new products they have iphone cases now if you're interested in doing that i might be doing that as well it's just a great way for passive income. If you're doing the merch and making designs, do this as well and throw your designs up there. And the good thing is here, you're not you're probably making the same or a little bit more profit-wise because you're not paying the Amazon fees. So that's it for now. Um, I'll talk to you guys in another week. See ya.